Well, guys, if you've been to Greenwood Park Mall, you've seen this area. It used to house the Patriot Grill. There was an old church here, a building that kind of looked like a barn. Well, now you can see it's all gone. What stood empty for years came down in days. A long vacant strip mall with a pothole filled parking lot where when you drove by, you just wanted to look away. Not the best image for the gateway to Greenwood. I remember it being empty for a long, long time. So this rubble at County Line in Madison brought relief to residents. I've lived here for about 15 years, and I'm so glad it's finally gone. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, man, finally they tore that thing down. Now what are they going to build next, you know? Greenwood's Redevelopment Commission, which bought the property for a million dollars, is working with the mayor's office to figure that out. Eight acres of prime real estate across from Greenwood Park Mall that may become a park. I'd like to see us look beyond maybe making a green space in a park and let's consider some sort of mixed use environment. How do we bring retail, maybe residential? Tilson envisions a development like he saw in South Bend, stores, restaurants, and townhomes. But some neighbors in Greenwood like something more peaceful. The park space. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think park space, we already have so many just buildings everywhere right now, and especially with the new remodel downtown Greenwood. I think just like nice greenery. Just, yeah, open. I think it'll look really nice. Besides transforming the property over there, the city also plans to fix a problem right here. This creek you see, well, during heavy rains, it floods the roads and homes nearby. A design for a fix is being planned now. The work starts this fall. And while this floodplain could affect how the former strip mall is developed, neighbors are just glad the eyesore is gone. So crews now are going to be clearing away this debris. They'll seed it, put grass down. Again, it's most likely going to become a park. But because it's a floodplain, if they do end up with a mixed-use facility, they're going to actually have to put a parking garage underground and then build up over that with retail. The city really does want your input. So, Scott, mayor says they'll make the final decision on this property by the end of spring. Way in before then. Yeah, it'll be interesting to watch that transformation underway. Jenny, thanks.